YouTube. Chook here, Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Watch Chook almost die every hunt, guaranteed. And you might get a chance to see me almost die next month. I will be using my traditional recurve bow and hunting brown bear or grizzlies, actually, as we call it. No, brown bear um, is in the uh, the coast. Grizzlies are in the interior, so sorry about that. Brown bear uh, with my bow. Um, so I'm getting very excited. I'll be uh, flying from Anchorage here across the inlet to where there are uh, tons of bears. Bears just everywhere. Uh, hunting from a tree stand. Now I'm not really used to hunting in tree stand. We don't do a lot of hunting in tree stands up here in Alaska except for bears only. Um, you know, down in the lower 48 states, that's that's all there is it seems like. And I, I tried it once and I missed a doe with like 10 yards away because I was, my heart was pounding and it was so awkward for me to bend my back over and try to get the bow over the tree stand and it was just it was just an awful experience but I, I missed my doe but um brown bear is a bigger target and um, you know I'm also going to have all kinds of backup uh, rifles and pistols um, you know in, in case I don't get a shot with the bow um, but I'm very excited but I wanted to talk about instinctive shooting now um, instinctive shooting is awesome because it just comes so naturally can be very quick um, that's what's what's so awesome about these bows is you can just quickly you know you don't have to use a sight or anything if, if you're practiced in instinctive shooting you can just use your bow like this uh, now the Bible of instinctive shooting of course is Fred Aspel's instinctive shooting book um, you know all traditional archers kind of know about this if they're they're into the field but uh, you know just read this book and it's basically just you know lining up your eye um, instinctively pointing the arrow and, and firing and then just you know finding a uh, anchor point around your cheek or, or the side of your mouth and sticking to that every time um, kind of crouching um, just there's just a lot of little nuances to it but uh, it's really fun once you get into it you can get very accurate uh, myself I I don't think I'll take a shot at an animal over 20 or 25 yards uh, depending on what the situation is because I, I feel like it can be very accurate at close range um, an interesting thing about the way I shoot is I do three fingers under and you don't see uh, too many people doing that nowadays everybody does the one thing one finger over and two under um, but there are some advantages I feel to, to three fingers under it's faster you can just line your fingers up pull back and shoot um, and also I've heard some studies where it you're looking down straight down the arrow when you're doing it like that so you can almost point and shoot when you're doing three fingers under but I'd be interested to see what comments people had to say about that um, but anyways I love traditional shooting and um, I'm very excited to be uh, hunting brown bear in uh, about four or five weeks uh, from a tree stand. Um, kind of funny, I told my dad about it and he said, I don't know about that. I don't know about that bait stand, tree stand hunting. And, um, it's not fair chase to me. And then I you know, told him I'd be using a bow and he's like, well, well, I guess that evens it out a little. So, but anyways, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I might do some spot and stock with the rifle too. Um, but definitely gonna have some videos on that. But um, yeah, instinctive shooting is just uh, training. A, it's a subconscious zen-like state where you're just instinctively pointing with your eye and shooting and um, somehow your body and mind align and it works and you actually hit your target. Um, so it's, it's pretty neat. Uh, and uh, I, I encourage you, if, if you haven't tried um, traditional shooting, um, to try instinctive shooting and uh, give it a shot. Thank you, YouTube. Shoot your friend in the field.